We want to go now to a, a Georgia Congressman Jody Heiss, who's live on Capitol Hill, joining us there. Hi, Congressman. Thank you so much for uh, taking the time to speak with us today. I'm glad to be here. Thanks so much for having me. Of course. So first, I want to talk about a Georgia state lawmaker, Senator Jen Jordan, who recently gained some attention for saying the proposed fetal heartbeat bill in your home state is dangerous to women. She went as far as to say that women will die if the law is enacted. What's your response to her statement? That's just fear mongering altogether. Listen, the heartbeat bill is about saving babies. And I uh, commend uh, the General Assembly of Georgia and the governor and all those who have been so involved in trying to get this across the, uh, the finish line in Georgia. Georgia is a pro-life state, and I think the heartbeat bill is the perfect bill to go. If the heart can be detected, the baby is protected. And I'm just so grateful that Georgia has led the way in getting that heartbeat bill uh, uh, to the governor's uh, desk. And, uh, this is a great day for Georgia. It's a great day for life. Now we know uh, Governor Brian Kemp is slated to sign uh, that legislation, which brings me to my next question. You've been a champion of pro-life issues there uh, in Congress, where Republicans are arguing a Congressman Steve Scalise's Born Alive Act uh, protects babies from infanticide. But uh, we've seen Democrat leaders uh, many times, uh, 25 times to be exact, they've refused to bring the bill to, to the floor for a vote. And now uh, liberal lawmakers are often pointing to existing protections, uh, saying that they don't need to act on any uh, further legislation uh, that uh, pushes uh, further protections. What do you make of that? Yeah, listen, it is stunning to me that 25 times we've not been able to get a vote on this. This, this ought to have nothing to do with politics, uh, nothing to do with partisanship. This is about life. And we are talking about a baby that is born alive. This is not even an abortion issue anymore. Even the vast majority of people who are pro-choice understand that when a baby is born and lying there on the table, that baby needs to be protected. And if that baby is killed, that is murder at this point. It is a live baby. This is born alive protection. And so, you know, our, our call to our colleagues on the other side of the aisle is let's get politics out of the way. We, we agree pro-life, pro-choice, a baby that's born alive needs to be protected. So I'm grateful that we are pushing 200 signatures, uh, give or take, and uh, I just urge my Democrat, Democrat colleagues to come uh, on and let's, let's work together to protect these babies that are born alive. Right, and that petition uh, you signed on on uh, needs about uh, 21 Democrat signatures uh, to get put on the uh, floor there. So we'll be keeping an eye out to see if that uh, support from uh, the opposite uh, side of the aisle uh, gets to that number that you need. But uh, before I let you go, Congressman, uh, we just saw the House Judiciary Committee uh, vote uh, to subpoena the full unredacted Mueller report uh, not too long ago. Chairman Jerry Nadler is saying that he fully intends on going to court for those House documents uh, if push comes to shove. Are the Democrats wasting their time? Uh, because we know Attorney General William Barr said that he already intends on being as transparent as possible, of course, in accordance with uh, DOJ regulations. Yeah, not only are they wasting their time, they're asking the attorney general to break the law. What we, what we literally have right now, we have Democrats that are so upset, so turned upside down because the Mueller report did not produce the bombshell that they anticipated, that they are now literally searching for every haystack they possibly can in hopes of finding a needle somewhere. And for them to come out now asking the attorney general to break the law and turn this report in uh, without redactions of classified information and grand jury information is absolute insanity. We have had for two years Schiff and Nadler and others lie face to face to the American people that they had evidence of collusion with Russia. All of that has been proven false. And now in a desperate attempt to try to find a needle somewhere, they're going to absolutely ridiculous uh, lengths and in process showing the fact that they are incapable of governing because they are so intent of harm, uh, to bring harm to the president. So it's time that this comes to a stop. It's time that we start moving forward on the issues that are pressing to the American people and uh, Schiff and Nadler and others like them. Uh, it's time to, to stop this altogether. They are the ones who cannot be trusted.
All right, yeah, and it's certainly setting up a fresh battle between uh, Democrats in Congress there and the DOJ, so we'll have to see how it plays out. Uh, thank you so much for your time, Congressman Heiss. We certainly appreciate it. My pleasure. Want to see more videos like this? Click on the link below and subscribe to One America News on YouTube and call your cable provider and kindly demand that One America News is added to your lineup. Call and subscribe today.